Hi, how are you? It's time to do some drawing again. I'm still on that pencil grind, and this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today, the theme of this drawing is some sort of future near-apocalyptic structure slash landscape. Really, I went into it thinking that I was going to do a kind of a uh, kind of mechanical thing, but it ended up being more of a building slash landscape. And basically, I just wanted the last drawing I did with pencil was very swooshy, blobby, organic. So I wanted some more kind of straight lines, more angular shapes and stuff like that. So I just that was really the only idea I went into this with, and I I kind of like seventy. 68% accomplished that, I think. But really, it's just another exercise, just exploring, seeing what can be done with pencils. Obviously, about a billion things can be done with pencils, most of them drawing. Other things you can do with pencils are like building with them, stabbing with them. Uh, you could maybe make, make a fire with them. I guess the lead inside, the, the graphite wouldn't burn very well, but... Right now I'm just mostly concerned with the drawing aspects of pencils. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, the building aspect of pencils and then burning it down, and then seeing if there are little graphite cores left over, that could be cool. I do have a box of pencils. I bought like 200 of them in a little box. You can buy them in bulk, you know. So maybe I can build like a little sculpture, set it on fire. Don't they do that at Burning Man or something? Except it's like 200 feet high. And it's not made of pencils. Anyways, before we get too far, let me mention Squarespace, which is a great way to host and set up and design your own website. They have all sorts of cool little elements you can add in depending on what you need. And a very nice selection of templates to choose from. They look great just starting out, but then you can customize them as much as you want. It's really difficult to make it look bad, and you'll end up with a sleek, professional website no matter what. Plus, you can add in things like e-commerce, a little web store of your own, whether you're selling digital or physical objects or little members-only areas where people have to type in a password to get in. So go to squarespace.com to get started with a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash peterdraws for 10% off your first website or domain. All right, go check it out. Get your website set up. Um, well, it's... The time of year has come around again where I've had to start mowing my yard again, which I don't mind. I like mowing the yard, usually you'd, because mostly because it's something you do uh, in the summer and on sunny days, if if possible, or at least days where it's not raining, because you can't mow during the rain, because or even right after the rain or when the grass grass is too mushy, because then the grass all clogs up the bottom of the mower. But I didn't mow my yard last summer very much because the first mower I bought broke pretty quickly. I, I think I bought like a $150 push mower off the internet, which was a very weird thing. It felt weird, but it worked for like a season, which I guess 150 bucks for one season it's worth of a mower is okay. I don't know. Maybe it's ridiculous. I feel like I'm a little out of touch with some things like that, but I was the little, I think it's called a trail flap on the back of the mower. It, one of the screws came out as I was pulling it backwards and it got pulled under the mower and the blades chopped it up a little bit. And I guess I could have kept going. This is a very simple thing to fix on a mower. And then I took it, but I don't know. I, I Googled like replacement trail flap. I thought maybe I can just order a replacement, but it's like a very, not a very common type of mower or very cheap. It turns out it is a very cheap and uncommon mower that, you know, for example, like my car for, is a Toyota Corolla. One of the reasons I got this car is because I know it's very common and so it's easier to fix because the parts for it and the mechanics for it uh, are more available, right? The more, the more common the car is, the more common its parts are. If you have some weird, uncommon car, it's more expensive to fix. Well, I think my mower is somehow both very cheap and uncommon, or the like the little flap on the back doesn't 
the the common flaps don't fit this flap. Anyways, I took it to some lawnmower guy, like 15 minutes away, kind of out in the country a little bit. You know, the type of guy who has a house. And then in the back, there's just like tons of mowers everywhere. And I just left it with him. I'm like, hey, can you like replace it or attach it? He's like, yeah, I could probably just pull a flap off one of my scrap mowers over there and attach it for you. But like I said, he couldn't find one that fit either. So then I was like, hey, can you just attach it? So he, he I guess he found a scrap. He somehow had to like drill another hole, even to just get the same flap reattached, even though it was partly chewed up by the blade. So I was like, all right, fine. I'm just gonna start mowing again with this old mower. Cause I didn't feel like, my, my other option was to pay my landlord, I think 20 or $25 every time. Cause it's in my lease that I need to keep the lawn mowed. So they told me either I mow it or I pay them and they'll mow it because like uh, my landlord her boyfriend or something has like a lawn scaping land, a landscaping service. So they're like, they're like good at mowing. Love it. They seem very eager to mow whatever it is. They seem very eager to mow. I don't think I would want to mow someone else's yard for 20 or $25 whenever it needed it. Uh, I mean, that's like, that's like high schooler level work, right? Isn't it? I don't know. Maybe still out of touch pop maybe, but actually it could be, it, it only takes like an hour. Actually, that is pretty good work. 20 to $25 an hour is not bad. Plus, like I said, sunny outside and you get uh, some good exercise. But also another thing I realize is I think I really am pretty allergic to grass because this time after I mowed, I I was very itchy. I think it's because all the, all the grass got like chopped up into tiny little bits and went all up in my clothes and everything. I was itchy for the rest of the day like I hadn't been in a very long time. I had been getting itchy before, but I had switched to a a, a, a laundry detergent with no additives, like nothing to make it smell nicer or anything like that, just a very neutral laundry detergent. And that had really made a huge difference in cutting down how itchy I am. So I guess I just have very sensitive skin. Anyways, that, that repaired lawnmower didn't work. So I went to Home Depot or Lowe's or something to buy another lawnmower. Even the cheapest one was like $200, $250. And the guy checking me out had like this very, had this mustache curled up at the ends with what well, had to be some kind of wax. And I tried to convince myself it wasn't earwax. Ugh, I tried not to think about it, but then he tried really, really hard to sell me this two year warranty on top of the 30 day one and another three year one that comes with it. He tried to tell me, sell me this warranty for like 50 bucks. And I kept on being like, no, I'm just, please just sell it to me. Like, stop, try, stop trying to sell me. Like he, this guy must've been, he must've gotten like, got like a cut of any warranties, like a little commission. Right. So I felt kind of bad for him, but also kind of annoyed, like, please just ring it up. Right. The harder he kept pushing harder and harder until he resorted to telling me that it was a terrible mower that he had even had it and it broke on the second time he used it and everything. And I'm like, well, I'm going to use it more than twice in the next 30 days. And there's like a 30 day, no questions asked, asked warranty on it. I can just bring it back no matter what. So anyways, it might break after two uses. It is pretty cheap. It's literally the cheapest mower they have there, but maybe not. We'll see. Sometimes cheap things just last forever because the first, the other mower I had, I think it might still work, but I think I had left old gas in it for too long because that can be a thing that can mess it up. Right. I think I need, to, I like drained, I drained the gas out and I poured it into like some random jug I had. I don't really know what to do with it now. How, how do you get rid of old gas? I can't just, I'm not, I can't just pour it down the drain. Right to take it to some special recycling center or something. Anyways, I'm going to go now. I've been playing uh, Space Engineers. It's taking me a long time to get off Earth. All right, see you all later. Goodbye.